this is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Sitting by the ocean, fishing for fun. Attending class, making new friends, new foes, and learning all together. Our hearts beating at one. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Flipmon 14. Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! GX School Academy today. Alright, and today I decided, you know what we're gonna do? I had a good idea. So in between episodes I edited my deck, but let's uh it's nighttime, right? Oh no, tomorrow's Sunday. Okay, let's use the PDA. How do we do I was thinking about doing the time duels. Tomorrow is Sunday. Oh, okay, there we go. Do time to there we go. Okay, so yeah, we've only made it to 47 of these. Let's uh what time are we at? We're at 216. Yep, this episode I think we're gonna do majority time to this. If I get stuck or whatever, then uh you know, it's okay. Offerings to the doomed, okay. Red eyes darkness dragon. Check this thing out. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we got Manju, Manju, Soul of Purity and Light, and Reshift, the Dark Being. So obviously we need to take uh, the Ritual card from our deck. Don't, don't change. Yes. Okay. And I'm assuming we just... This, seems, this one seems pretty straightforward. I'm assuming we have to Ritual Summon here. Nope, don't change. Yeah, because he has 6,900 points. So let's offer Manju and Manju. Side. Mm-hmm. Reshift the Dark Beam. <laughs> it's funny, I actually uh, just started my Let's Play of Reshift of... Or, do you say it Reshif? Or Reshift? Uh, either way. I just started my Let's Play of this game, which you can watch on this channel, which is, uh... Uh... uh Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh yeah, what's the name of it? It's uh, it's the one with Rashif on the front cover. Oh dude, oh is it, it oh yeah, is it just a Rashif of Destruction? I think so. Anyway, let's activate this effect. I forgot what it does, but... Uh, discard... Oh, right, gain control. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, yoink. And then we just attack with everything, right? I mean, I don't see any other way to do 6,900 points of damage. Okay... 25, nice. And 24 from Red Eyes. Darkness Dragon. So there we go. Pretty easy puzzle. Pretty easy one. Pretty straightforward. Just gotta get your ritual out and use its effects. Okay. 49. Oh yeah, how's the volume by the way? Let me let me turn up the volume. The volume's a little low on uh actually you know what? I know what it is. I know what it is. Let's crank up the volume a little bit. Let's go times two. Yeah, and I'll edit it from there on the TV. There we go, that ought to sound better for you guys. Sorry for the headphone users about the sudden spike, but uh... Alright. 3000 is all he's got. Big Koala and Zoa. Okay. Pot of Generosity. I would say it ain't so. Do we have Metamorph? We do. Okay, well, I think I know what we need to do here. Pot of Generosity. <laughs> what a terrible card, but we actually need it. That's funny. So we'll place Metal Zoa up on top of the deck. Yeah. Turn this down just a little bit. Okay, I think that's good. That's good. I'm assuming we just have Metal Morph down here. Yeah, okay. I didn't even bother to check, but... Will we do more damage if we just attack with Zoa? No, we do have a limiter removal, though. So, wait, what? Uh, I'm sorry? How do I... Oh, activate effect. That's so weird that they put it on Zoa. Just so it doesn't have an effect. Okay. Attack. Yeah, attack your big koala. Nope. And damage step. 
Damage step. Damage step. Limit or remove will go. Double my machine for back points. Again. Pretty easy puzzle. Pretty easy puzzle. I guess they're just basically showing you. Oh, here's how Metal Go works. Here's how Reshift uh, Destruction works. Or, I'm sorry, Reshift the Dark One. This one might be more challenging. Elite Attack. Book of Moon. Okay. Karibo. Blue Eyes. Sasuke Samurai. This automatically takes out a defense monster, right? Details. Hmm, we might need to use Sasuke to take out Blue Eyes. Element Dragon. Forget your effects. Wind. If destroyed, a monster in battle, it can attack once again. So you are wind. Okay, so we can get an extra 15 with that. Hmm. Wait, wait. Do we need it to be the fire effect too. I'm guessing we just need it to be the fire effect too, because with Great Angus, um, believe it or not, we'll have 500 extra damage. Yeah, because this card will boost this card. Yeah. So, alright, we'll book a moon the blue eyes and try this out. Alright, down you go, blue eyes. And battle box. Sasuke Samurai taking out a blue eyes way dragon. That is awesome. And use its effect, Sasuke. Element Dragon. Attack. And I'm guessing we use its wind effect here. Yep. Attack again. Nice. And what's he down to? 1800? Perfect. Well, we nailed it. We nailed it. Alright, we're doing good on time here. We're only at 222. Alright, these are going pretty well. Let's go 51. Giant Rat. Gorsh Raider. Kishido Spirit. Okay, I'm guessing there's something in the deck we need. Uh, Gazelle. Milo's Radiance also in the deck. Hmm. Ah, I see, I see. Alright, so we'll go with Deck Age Commander. These are, uh, some old school Union monsters. Uh, zombie Tiger. Wait, what's in the sand? What's in the sand? Ah, good thing I checked that. Okay, so need to do... Text your opponent's life points directly, one card's randomly discarded. Do I even need to use the union effects? Because Zombie Tiger will... Let me think, if I get my list radiant, let me think about this one. Okay, Gazelle doesn't really help us here. You have to get my list radiant. But do I need to connect these two with the union effect? takes out Horse Raider. This needs to be a direct attack, right? And this card attacks your opponent's life points directly. Ah, uh, okay. So we do not need, um, yeah, because he's only got 800 life points. We do not need to use the Union effect. So Giant Rat Crush. Pretty unique puzzle. The big problem here is the Karibo, I think, so... Uh, special summon. Oh, wait, wait. I just remembered he has Kashido Spirit, doesn't he? Oh, this isn't gonna work, is it? Kashido Spirit? Yep. Okay, we've gotta start over. Well, wait, wait, let me just try this. This shouldn't work, though. I think we've gotta start over. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. So I need to get over 1900. Uh, surrender. Shido Spirit, I forgot. Okay, so let's go with another duel. I guess you do need to use the Union effects. Just so you have... Hmm. Yes. I guess just so your attacks aren't equal. Strange. Okay. Oh yeah, it does boost Decade Commander. I forgot about that. Okay. My 500. Alrighty. My bad, Zombie Tiger. I shouldn't have ignored you. Okay. Special Summon? Yes. Mylas Radiant. Alright, and we'll, yeah, 2,000. See, that way, yeah, exactly. That way, Morse Radiant will be destroyed, so... Yeah. And we 
discard a Karibo because of this effect, I think. Equip uh, it onto Decade Command Earth. When equipped to a monster, yeah, and it destroys one of your opponent's monsters. One card's randomly discarded. There you go. Midas Radiant for the win. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright. 52, let's go. Alright, standby phase. Uh, what do we got here? Ring of Destruction. Do we have anything with 1900? Chain Burst. Hmm. Okay. And there's also swords. What's he got face down here? What you got face down, buddy? Hmm, Magical. Oh, I see. Okay, we've got this. Breaker. Breaker effect. Nope. Use Breaker effect. So by removing a spell counter, we can destroy a spell or trap. Destroy Chaos Burst so we don't tie. Then we... I think you can even attack here. You don't need swords necessarily. So... Uh, Zera attacks this. And its effect should uh, place a counter on a Breaker, right? I'm pretty sure that's how this works. Uh, nope. Don't chain. Nice. Yeah, you don't even need swords. Okay. And then, uh, in the battle phase, bring of destruction, baby. Target breaker. And we win. Easy. Easy. Easy puzzle. Alright. 53. You just have to know how Breaker of the Magical Warrior works. Okay, 3200 for our opponent here. Lightning Blade, Curse of Aging, ooh, Ring of the... Oh, okay. Two Dragon Zombie, Chain Burst again. Okay. Oh, Mataza the Zapper. Now, this only works on, uh... Mataza can attack twice. This only works on traps, right? Okay. And we have 1,300, so... Obviously, we can afford to, uh... Take the damage. Well, then again, we have Ring, too. Hmm. Uh, all right. Well, I think the solution here is Captain. Yes. And I think we want to... Mataza. Nope, no chain. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they want you to boost Mataza. No. Um, with uh, Lightning Blade. To maximize the damage. Okay. And then we can afford to take... Uh, five with chain burst. So I'm assuming we use Curse of Aging here because we do have an extra card in hand too. So discard Force Raider. I'm guessing that's how this works. I'm guessing Ring's a bluff. Yeah. See, now we're down to 300. But his zombies are down to 11 each. So if this doesn't work, I'm not sure what the other solution would be. life will he be at? Uh, 2100. Is that enough? It is just enough? Okay, we did it right. Cool. Yeah, I was gonna already say, I think Force Raider's a red herring there. So, and so is Ring of Destruction. You just don't have enough life points to do it. Okay, 54. Cathedral of Nobles. Ooh, that's awesome. So with this weekend, uh, yeah, special summon anything from the deck. Can't or hand deck or fusion deck. Oh, we have Cyberstein too. Wow. Marshmallow. Okay. So we could go Ancient Gear Golem. Refusion. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. But these aren't properly summoning, are they? That, I think that's the issue. I guess we'll Cyberstein first. See what, see what we can do. Uh, he has 6,000, so... Oh, okay, okay. Cyber in Dragon seems like the call here. Hmm. And then, uh... What's this effect do? Uh, destroy... Yeah. So, we might as well go for Ultimate. Ultimate Blue Eyes. Oops. Now let's use... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Cathedral of Nobles is a, uh, it's a trick. It's a trick. Don't do it. So, let's tribute two monsters. I almost forgot. Ancient Gear Golem has piercing. Yeah, don't do Cathedral. Uh-huh. So here we 
go. Two piercing monsters. Ike, ultimate agi agolam. Ultimate the pound. And then, go. Oh, now my cyber and dragon. Triple stride and blast. Destroy that marshmallow. Easy, easy. Piercing monsters are good. All right, 55. And I'm actually gonna save state here. Just in case anything happens with the recording. Uh, let's go for... This was done on the 11th of 2022. Let's do this. Slot one. Okay, what do we got here? Creator Incarnate. Oh man, the Creator is so cool. I've always liked it as a monster. Uh, Gravekeeper's Guard. Okay. We do have the Creator. Bazoo. Premature Burial. Wow. We've got some stuff. Uh, I'm guessing we just... Uh, do this. Wait, what? No, 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 no. We don't want to offer two as a tribute, do or do we? I mean, what what good is Marshmallow going to do here? But no, no, no. We need our normal summon, I'm assuming. So, uh, creator, go. Okay, and that's just 19. Marshmallow to attack mode. Premature burial. Well, then again, we could use the effect. Yeah, basically we can exchange and revive anything. I guess we'll revive uh, Incarnate, I guess. Alright, so we'll send, uh, we'll, oh, this is to revive. Okay, so we'll revive Incarnate. Uh-huh, discard from our hand. Discard the zoo, I guess. We can always bring him back with premature burial. Premature burial. Targeting the zoo, I'm guessing. I'm guessing we need that extra 300. That's why Bazoo's here. Okay, so Bazoo effects. Uh-huh. I might have done something wrong here, but we'll see. Decide. Because maybe you need Bazoo to destroy this. Yeah. First, I don't know. Yeah, we might be missing out on 300 damage, but we'll, we'll see. Okay. Creator attack. Oh, it looks so cool. It looks so cool. Marshmallow, on. go get him. Mm, I don't think we're gonna have enough. No. 16 from Incarnate. Okay. Nope, we're just short by a hundred. Hmm. Okay, this puzzle's a little trickier than at first glance, so... Hmm... Okay, short by a hundred. Okay, there has to be a combo I'm not thinking of here. Hmm, maybe you do trip to tribute. Maybe. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. Because, well, I'm thinking if you two tribute, you could get more for Bazoo. Yeah, you could get Bazoo up to 2,500. Let me think about this. Okay, so yeah, let's two, let's try two tributing here, just to get Marshmallow in the grave. So we two tribute. We premature burial. Okay, these two equal 39. So, wait, what? Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, I messed that up. I messed that up. Uh, let's, uh... Let's surrender. I forgot to use the effect of incarnate. That's my bad. That's my bad. Because we need to uh, dump bazooks to the grave. I think we've got it, though. I think we've got it, though. So what we want to do is two tribute again. Yep, don't use the effects of incarnate. It's funny that incarnates a trap in this uh, puzzle. But yeah, we actually want to activate the effect sending Bazoo. So we target incarnate. Nice. Yeah, so we'll discard Bazoo, of course. That way we can premature burial. And this is all to get more points on Bazoo. So yeah, premature burial. So we want the max amount of attack points on Bazoo. So revive Bazoo. 
Tough puzzle, I can't figure out. Let's go state two. Alright, 56. Let's do a with a lot of cards in hand. Uh, but they're down to 1500 points. What's this? Marshmallow. They love Marshmallow. I'm guessing I need to use Kotetsu here. I mean, I don't even know what equips in our deck. But, uh, oh, maybe Black Pendant for the burn damage? I really should have checked what's in our hand first. Uh, another black pendant. Okay. Oh, we have Gear Free the Iron. Okay, this is puzzle's pretty easy. Gear Free the Iron Knight. I activate black pendant. Target my Gear Free down. Gear Free's effects automatically destroys cards that are equipped to him. Oh, I could have summoned Marauding Captain too. And, uh. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, I think there's more than one way to do this puzzle, because this can vanish, right? Did he worry you like? Yeah, I can't. Oh, no, 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 actually, this is the only way to do this puzzle. Want to know why? Marshmallow is face down, which means it's, um, it's effect. That when it's face down, inflicts a thousand. Will stop you from using DD Warrior Lady. Ah, tricky, 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 but luckily I picked the right equip target. I just shotgunned it. Okay, scapegoat tribute to the dunes. Okay. Oh, we might need scapegoat here for Amazon Archer twice. Wow, actually, Amazon Archer twice wins us the game. No way. Is this. Okay, this is the most BM way to win a duel. But let's. Uh, tribute to the dunes. Our own Marauding Captain. Wow. Nope. Activate Scapegoat. This is crazy. Alright, and what are these face downs just so I know? Millennium Shield. Millennium Shield. Okay, yeah, so this is literally the only way to do this duel. Archer Effect. Tribute. Yep. Nope. And another goat. Effects not much for turn, so pretty easy. Tribute to go and herself, and we win. All right, <laughs> pretty easy puzzle. All right, duel. Uh, no, no, thank you. Mystical Space Typhoon. Uh, what's this field spell? Oh, Luminous Spark. I'm guessing we need to take that out. Maybe not. Mystical Elf's points are lower. Uh, he's down to 21. Okay. So, Archfiend Soldier can take out Mystical Elf right now. So, we gotta get past the Luminous Soldier. That's really the only problem. If it battles with a Dark Monster, it gets 500 more. Copycat. Interesting. So, I think all we have to do is... Hang on. Because he's down to 21, right? Wow, this puzzle is easy unless I'm missing something. Copycat lets me copy one card on your field, and I choose a little bit of soldier. No, I won't change. Yeah, it's got 2600. What the heck? Dude, this is too easy. What? They could have put this in, like, the first 10 puzzles. Yep, just attack. Kill Force Raider. Oh, I'm sorry, kill Force Raider, soldier. Cut down that missing elf. Yeah, copycat attacks living a soldier. I feel like this puzzle was way too easy. You don't even need MST or Dark Elf. Uh, you can't even afford for to play Dark Elf. Yeah, in MST and Heavy Storm here are red herrings. Just check, double check the stats, and you're good. Wow, pretty easy. All right, so we got to let's try to get to 60, I guess. 
uh, before my phone cuts out, and then we'll end the video. So let me go to state three, just in case my phone times up. Alright, 1400. Okay, Gear Golem. Oh, well, Gear Golem can attack directly, so that's interesting. Premature boom. What is in the graveyard? Mermaid Knight. Hmm, Mermaid Knight could attack twice. With Umi. Hmm, Big Koala. What is this face down? Mirror Force. Whoa, Mirror Force. Whoa. Wait, how do we get past Mirror Force? Oh, we don't need to worry about Mirror Force. Activate Premature Barrier. Okay. We figured it out. Uh, Mermaid Knight, come to me. Yep. Okay, and yeah. The only solution I see here is to uh, tribute Gear Golem. He had a full turtle. This has to be it because he has Mirror Force and we don't have MSG or anything. So, Turtle Fire Mermaid Knight. Uh huh. And Turtle Fire itself. Is this going to be 600? Nice. Yep. Pretty easy puzzle. Pretty easy. Alright. Number 60. This is ought to be tough. Oh my god. Three ultimate dragons. Okay. Wait, we have Exodia. Wait. Wait. Okay, so we have Hain Hain. Hmm. It's the last piece in our deck. It is. The last two pieces are in our deck. Okay. Penguin Soldier. Hmm. My good old buddy Penguin Soldier. Okay, I think I've got the solution. So we set Taiyu. This is very key. Hard destruction. Draw the last two pieces. Mm -hmm. And we win with Exodia. So, hey, hey. Return the arm to my hand. And now we book of Taiyu, Penguin Soldier. Yeah. Penguin Soldier effect. We just have to select the correct targets. Monster of the hand, yes. Exodia. Turn the monster of the hand, yes. Right arm, we win. Easy. Oh, I'm getting to see the animation. Oh my god. Exodia. Oh, Blitterate. Oh, that was so cool, dude. Dude, that was so cool. Oh, I'm so glad they put the animation in there for that puzzle too. Oh my god, we got to show Exodia in this game. Dude, that is baller, bro. Definitely gonna save state to that. Okay, guys. Well, with that, um, yeah, we got one, level one, two, and three done. So, and we got to see Exodia's animation. I did not expect to show Exodia's animation, not only in this game, but this episode. <laughs> Dude, I didn't expect that at all. Well, definitely gonna save to that, and I call this a successful episode of doing the dual puzzles. What say you? All right, man, definitely gonna upload that Exodia Obliterate clip too on the shorts. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. Thanks guys for joining me and I'll see you guys all. I have the biggest grin on my face <laughs> next time. Bye-bye and have a good day. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. We got to summon Exodia. Nice. All right. You know what? I might do that puzzle again. Just for a, a funny clip I can think of. You know, Exodia, it's not possible. Yeah, there's so many clips I can think of to do, like, or even the, my grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba, but it does contain the unstoppable Exodia. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool to show in this game. I like on a small clip. Okay, I've got some ideas for videos. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Have a good